The Israeli army has pulled back from its positions close to the border with Lebanon. It's on high alert, awaiting Hezbollah's promised retaliation for the killing of two of its operatives in airstrikes in neighboring Syria. Since the 2006 war, the Israeli military has largely refrained from targeting Hezbollah inside Lebanon. Instead, it has been facing off against the group and its backer Iran in Syria. That changed over the weekend. The Lebanese armed group is accusing Israel of sending armed drones that crashed and exploded on a mission to attack in its stronghold in the southern suburbs of Beirut. It is promising to confront drones that violate Lebanon's airspace, and it has the support of the Lebanese state. Everybody is aligned. Everybody rejects this Israeli operation, which basically means what what Hezbollah always wanted, to have the um, state and the Lebanese state, uh, the Lebanese state institutions, and perhaps the majority of the Lebanese people. Lebanon's army and government officials described the drone crash incidents as an attempted attack and a violation of the country's sovereignty. President Michel Aoun, who called it a declaration of war, chaired a meeting of the Higher Defense Council, which stressed the right of Lebanese to defend themselves by any means to deter further Israeli attacks. Before the election of General Aoun, there was always a margin, uh, a margin of space, if I may say, between the uh, official position of the Lebanese state and the Hezbollah position as a resistance movement. This margin, if I may say, uh, recently has uh, has been uh, uh, diminished or has been uh, become uh, smaller. Hezbollah and its allies now hold political power in Lebanon. Its opponents accuse it of doing Iran's bidding in the proxy war with Israel. The month-long war in 2006 was sparked by a cross-border raid in which Hezbollah killed and captured Israeli soldiers. There is now the possibility of a new confrontation. Hezbollah says it will not reveal details of its planned retaliation and its timings. But there are those who believe it will likely be a calculated response in order to avoid all-out war. Israel's response is not guaranteed. Back in 2006, the Lebanese government disavowed itself from Hezbollah. Today, it is a different dynamic, and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is warning the Lebanese state it will be held responsible for Hezbollah's actions. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Beirut.